it really ain't that serious. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Have you ever thought about wearing something other than purple? What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Dot. And it's the Viv. And it's time for, for some, some shenanigans. This is the club baker. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, shenanigans, and all of our followers out there. What's up, y'all? How y'all feel? I hope everybody is doing great. <laughs> What's happening, y'all? Feeling great. We gagging right now, y'all. Of course, y'all seen the clip or whatever. You guys just watched the clip of um. Uh, what is it called? Bring back my girl. Bring back my girl. <laughs> as you know, as Bring the messy bitch that I am, girl. you know, that was season two, episode two. If y'all want to check that out, season two, episode two of Bring Back My Girls. But um, that was actually last year, y'all, when we were at DragCon and they had the um, All Star Six cast on there. And you know how they do, had the audience ask questions and stuff. And my messy ass comes up and you know, shenanigans. You know how we do. <laughs> you feel me? Shenanigans. So I had to give a little shenanigans and you know, be messy for a change. But it's all love. Roger know I love her or whatever. She cussed us out afterwards, but it's all good. Well, she cussed the veil out afterwards. She cussed. I think I was drunk or something. And she was like, what's, what's you trying to tell me? Okay. <laughs> But it's all love. That's our bitch. We love Raja. You know, that's our girl in the bag of pearls. But yeah, check that out. Season two, episode two of Bring Back My Girls. Bring Back My Girls. But yeah, um, also too, before we get off into some things, y'all already know what we got to do. Give you who's an update. I'm going to check on Ruchia. Ch-ch-ch-chia. Hey, hey, look at that, y'all. It is growing, Deville. You see that? Look like at them bean shit. sprouts. The beans are sprouting, okay? I'm about to be able to put that on the salad in a minute. Yes, yes. Let me turn her around. Is Get this garnish? This is garnish, right? It can be a little garnish or something, yeah, you know? Who's very garnish? A little something, something. But, but she, it looks she, good. She's feeling out. Do you think it's gonna grow more? I think it's gonna grow some Well, they more. lied on the box. Y'all lied on the box said it's gonna take a week, two weeks at max, but they said- It's been two weeks. No, it's been, we're on episode four. It's been four weeks. So they said that the chip was gonna grow out, you know, in like a week and a half. And um, it's slowly but surely growing, okay? It's doing this thing. It's cute. Should have put a time lapse camera on that bitch. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, so you know, let us know what y'all think about the cha 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 chia, Miss RuPaul or whatever. And um, yeah, can we get off into this episode? Let's get now? into it. Oh, real quick before we get off, one more thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Is it okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just want to shout out all the Aquariuses out there. This is Aquarius season. Come on, Aquarius. All you, you know, strong heart, strong minded ass. You know what I'm saying, bitches. You creative bitches always want to, you know, do this and that. Shout out to y'all. And speaking of, want to give. Dwayne, Dwayne, y'all. His birthday. Happy birthday, Dwayne. Happy birthday, Dwayne. His birthday is what? Monday. Monday. Yeah. Monday is his birthday, y'all. So make sure y'all send Dwayne some love. Shout out to Dwayne. You know what I'm saying? Tell him happy birthday and stuff. And um, all the other Aquariuses out there. Absolutely. Happy Woo! birthday. We should go out. We're gonna go out tonight. We're gonna go out. We're going out taking shots for my boy. Okay, taking shots and shit. But uh, yeah, let's get off into this episode. You ready? Yes. Season 16, episode four, y'all. We here on episode four already. So let's get off into it. The girls walk into the workroom. Y'all already know, talking shit is naive. Shit is naive. So my bitch, you racing the board or whatever. Um, uh, Geneva, Geneva, Geneva oh, racing Geneva the board because my bitch Hershey gone. Hershey kisses. She was like that was somebody she was close with in the competition, but at the end of the day, she got to do what the fuck she, she got had to do. do. Okay, I don't blame her. Like, listen, you're going to develop is. relationships, you know, they no matter sisters. where you go. But bitch, they somebody got the win. 16 sisters. It's a competition, and somebody got to go. So. You got damn right. Yeah. So um, then after that, you know, the girls go over to, you know, discuss the challenge and all that shit. And, um, you know, they so congratulate. So Nephia feeling her shit, you know, yeah, they, they congratulate Nephia. But Q said, bitch, I don't fucking see it. 
I mean, in so many words, yes. I mean, she gave her props, but it was more so, and she was more so saying like, she said, the, I should've won, like, I, I used, used a com a unconventional material for every fucking thing. Through Versus her Nymphia didn't, and she got a few, like, her second outfit. Critiques. Wait, it was it a few critiques? Well, Q said her critiques were her, perfect. Which they were. And the outfits were perfect. In my opinion, Q should've won. I'm with Q on this. But, hey. Congratulations, I mean, Nephia. They topped they topped it on um what's Raven and um what's that girl name? Fashion Forward. Fashion photo reveal, y'all. Yeah. They top they got her top of the week. Who? Cool. Nephia. Oh so? Yeah. That don't mean shit. They chopped my rise, like I said. <laughs> that don't mean shit neither. <laughs> it's you right. This definitely don't mean shit, okay? That don't mean shit. But you know, they're experts, so. Sometimes I'll go there just to make sure, you know, I, you know, know what I'm talking about. Okay. Sometimes, just sometimes. Like, today, was the, the other day was the first time, like, I watched Fashion Photo Review in, like, a long time. Was it good? Did you enjoy it? It was good. Like, yeah. you can tell Raven and, um, uh, Raj are getting a little tired, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can tell they just talking shit, but, you know, it was okay. okay. It ain't no shenanigans, but... <laughs> It was cool, it was cool. Yeah. You know, we give you raw authenticity up over here, bitch. But um, yeah, so after they did, you know, after they talked about, you know, Nivea accused, you know, did her little 2 one fool or whatever. Um, um, morphine messy ass, gonna say some so and untucked. Is that technically breaking the fourth wall? Like her saying untucked? I mean, it, no, that's where it happened at. It happened but are you supposed to like say that though? You can say it. Oh, I feel like that's breaking the fourth wall. You can reference it, it happens. Okay. So, Morphine asks, brings up the drama between Plain Jane and a mandatory meeting. I don't know why she did that. My Plain Jane read her down. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get some shit stirred up, but I guess during Untucked, Plain Jane went to um, a mandatory meeting and was just like, like, bitch, I don't feel your drag. Like, girl, you ain't that why, girl. Why are you here? Like, why are you here? <laughs> and Amanda was just like, bitch, first of all, I don't even know you. Like, you coming at me, you know, which is true what you're saying, but I don't know you to be, you know, for you to be saying that to me. <laughs> and then Jane said, she like, I ain't mean to come off, you know, bitchy like that. I'm not, I just, I, whatever I'm saying is, I'm trying to help her at the end of the day. I'm trying yeah. to make her drag better. But they were like, I mean, once you get to know her or whatever, or have some type of time and friendship, then you can play with me like that. But until then, like, don't play with me okay, like back that. back up, bitch. Yeah. Which was understandable, because a bitch that I don't know saying some shit, I'm going to take offense to that, too. It's just fun shade. It is, it is. So she shouldn't have took it like that. But Amanda, bitch, you already know how your drag is. So why are you getting mad for anyway? Uh, what, what's me? How her drag is? I mean, you know, she's a little, you know... What? A little pedestrian. She's a little, like, she's like... I feel like she's a, um... A crafty queen. And on top of being a crafty, crafty queen, crafty. she's still trying to figure out who she is. Who a mandatory... What's a mandatory meeting? She know who the fuck she is. Y'all gonna get off her no, back. She needs to just very... She needs to polish it up. Of course, you know, once this is over, it'll be much polished. But, yeah. Okay. She need to get her life in order. No, stop doing her. Okay. I like a mandatory me. This bitch is good TV. Like, I like her. I don't want her to Great go TV. no time soon, but I'm still dragging you every chance I can get, okay? But, um, yeah, so, um, after, you know, they talk about that, um, what happened after that? That was it. Somebody else said some shit. Um, I think that was it, you know, for the most part, you know, kind of like the heavy hits of that, you know, moment. Yeah. That was all for the shit talk. It was all for the shit. So then the next day, you know, the girls come up into the workroom or whatever, and they hula and farah, and, you know, they walk in doing their little numbers. If I walk in, I'm going to be like this, Charlie's Angels. The best was the spawners. Oh, yeah. That's fair. Speaking of spawners, did you see them motherfucking looks? Okay. <laughs> we'll get off into that later. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> Hornella is bad. Okay, Hornella ate that shit up. <laughs> Big Chador ate it up. Baby Drag Sephiroth ate them all up, okay? Oh, like, she it's... ate the girls up. You hear me? I can't even breathe. I couldn't breathe when she walked in. I was gagging. I'm like, bitch, is this a runway or just an entrance look? Like, what is this right now? This is not. Okay. But, uh, yeah, y'all, watch the All Stars. We're going to be doing that one to uh, inspire the All Stars, y'all. So anyway, RuPaul comes into the workroom and lets the girls know it's maxi challenge time. So for the maxi challenge, 
It's gonna be a play on Saturday Night Live. We're gonna do another episode of RDR, RDR Live. Live. I think that was season. It was an All Stars. Oh, featuring Jimbo. You're right. It sure mm-hmm. was. Okay, All Stars. So that was like a year ago, year and a half. Drag races. They seem to be running into each other. So yes. I'm sure it wasn't that long ago. Oh, right, but the twist this season is one take. One take, Queens. One take. <laughs> One take. So RuPaul lets the girls know, like, you know, you'll be, you know, picking your own roles. Um, it's just a free for all. Whatever y'all do, you know, that's up to y'all. So work it out. Wisely. Study your lines. Don't fuck it up. Don't you fuck know, it up. The usual. Ina la queres. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so after that, you know, the girls go off and you know to talk about the roles, pick their little roles and shit. Who want what? Who want what? So they just call the shit off. What? Tsunami picked her role. She like, I want to do this. Any objections? They said, Any no, objections? Girl, no I got this. Morphine got her it. role. She want to be a slut. Any objections? She, she said, got her slutty. role. They said, yes, business slutty. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Plasma picked also wants to want to be one of those girls too. So for Plasma role, Plasma, I guess she's a Saturday Night Live fan. So she wanted to do the weekend update segment. Yeah. She wanted to have her Amy Poehler, Seth Meyer moment. So she told the girls, hey, this is what the fuck I want, period. So a couple girls picked some more roles. So out the motherfucking blue, Dawn and the mandatory meeting and Q, they start bullying this bitch. Like, hey, bitch, we know you, you said yeah. you wanted this role, but. You shouldn't take that. You we need friends. To and we'll do better. And we wanted part. to do it together. Your energy ain't gonna match our energy, so you need to pick something else. You know what? You got a Jew nose. Why don't you be Barbara Streisand? <laughs> I said, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> she got a what? That's what they told this bitch. What she got? They said she got an ethnic nose. What kind? <laughs> a Jewish nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they told us. Uh, I, I just didn't know what you had said. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, okay, okay. So they said you need to be Barbara Streisand. Okay. She said, I want to do the weekend update. This is what the fuck I picked. And they exactly. Said, they said, we we know you picked this, but... This is your moment, bitch. Be Barbara. You as a character. You as a singer. Just go ahead and do the shit or whatever. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. So then... They um, took a roll from her. They... So then the host role <laughs> comes up and Mirage the wants host to be the role came up and Safira wants to be it. No, the host role came up and Safira said, I want this role, I'll take this role. So the Mirage was cool for it with it. And then all of a sudden out the blue, Mirage said, I want to be the host. And they I said, think she had bo- I think they both wanted it was to not, be the host. They it was both not had their mindset. We just we watched episode three times. How you right. missed that three times? I think that <laughs> <laughs> you breaking the fourth wall now. <laughs> 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 but uh <laughs> no, the fair wanted that shit first, and she had it for a good thirty minutes. He's right. He's and right. And then Mariah said, so then Mariah said, you know, I, I want to be the be. host. Yeah. So then the girls were saying, well, Safira, do you feel like flipping a coin for it or auditioning for it? And Safira looking at them like... She's just like, fuck it. I'll like, just be the... Um, I'll the, be less Mariah than this Badia. I'll be the Barbara shit. Because, you know, this is my opportunity to be in a group. I never really did no group shit. So let me just see how I do in the group. She can have that. It's pretty much. She can yeah. have that. So after she had it, they was like, all right, girl, Mariah, you got the role. And Mariah said, uh, uh. She was looking puzzled. Like, didn't you didn't you want the role, girl? Like just tried to argue for it. Yeah. She ain't arguing for it. She just gave it. And now you acting fucking crazy like you don't want it? Yeah. So when a girl starts saying, you know, this role sets the tone, she starts having them motherfucking doubts in her head. (laughs) So then, you know, after that, you know, after all the girls, you know, they pick their roles, they go over and start, you know, kind of going over their little roles and how they're going to do it. And before all of, you know, all of a sudden you get plasma. She's kind of like feeling some type of way because she feels like these girls just threw the role at her. They didn't handle it well. So she's kind of questioning. So she's talking to Safara like, 
Bitch, they stole this role from me. And Safari, like, bitch, they dragged you through the mud and took your role. <laughs> but that's what talk a lot, though. If I was Safari, I'd be like, okay, bitch, like, damn, you was talking too much, girl. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, Plasma talks a lot. Like, she talk a mile she a minute. She on TV. You she get is, but that's her in real life, too. I'm sure this is a one annoying bitch in person, okay? <laughs> you can tell. But she's good TV as well, you know. I like her voice. It's like one of those... Old Hollywood talking voices that she has. She likes some theater queen. Too. Yeah, she's very much a theater queen. <laughs> but so she's, you know, she talking to Sophia like, you know, I revere Barbara. I never want to make fun of her. And then Sophia was like, bitch, this is comedy. It ain't none of that shit. You either gonna win the challenge or none you not shit. gonna win the challenge. Ain't none and of that shit. It's as simple as that. That. You can still respect the character but still make it funny. Exactly. So do your thug fizzle. So then after that, RuPaul walks into the workroom. RuPaul, RuPaul Matthews. and Ross Matthews. So after they, you know, of course they want to hear what the girls are, you know, what characters they Fuck have. Y'all up and, too. What's going on? You know, on? getting y'all minds, trick y'all up a little bit or whatever. So she's calling the girls up like, you know, four at a time or whatever. And the first group grows up, you know, RuPaul talking to them. It was my end though. Has anyone ever done um, um, sketch comedy, comedy, sketch, sketch, sketch comedy sketch or whatever? Comedy. Yeah, and they all just like, hell no. Nah. Nobody's no. done it. Of course nobody's done that. Like, who's doing sketch comedy? And they, Some queens. Them queens just perform, putting their makeup on, and that's hosting, that's it. Some queens. I mean, yeah. Especially in the UK. Theater queens, yeah. Like, Plasma, I'm sure she has. and Yeah, the UK for sure, but... You know, most theater queens do that. Like a regular queen, are they don't they don't really What's do shit. What's a regular queen? Queens do it. <laughs> <laughs> a regular queen, like a bitch that's just on RuPaul's Drag Race. Queens do catches on uh, TikTok, sir. On YouTube, look. just to serve look. On the Instagram, on the reels, they do all that. Catches. So, you know, after that, the second group comes up, and you know, what I'm saying RuPaul asks a girl, so um, did y'all pick these roles? And um, Plasma's just like, um, Plasma said, I mean, not really, but, you know. Then she started talking about her little spill, you know, getting that role, da 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 da. And Ross was like, if you have a moment to be Barbara, you need to be, be Barbara. Barbara. Be Barbara. Be Barbara. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna say, I think, when I, I think when we first started this channel, we talked about Ross. And um, remember when I first heard Ross's voice for the first time? I'm like, oh my God, he is playing. Like, this is not his voice. Because <laughs> back then it used to be real high, like higher than what it is now, because he's much younger. But I used to be like, oh my god, this is not this man's voice. I remember Ross Matthews from the Jay Leno show. He was the intern. Yeah, exactly. The like Guillermo was. from, um, what's one call it? Yeah. Some similar. So that's why I used to think it was a lady. But it was always that high. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so then, you know, after that, the girls go back and start doing their makeup, woo de woo de woo you know what I'm saying? Get beat, get painted, you know, spanking their faces or whatever. So they start exchanging war, 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 words, war stories, war, war stories. War stories, yes. <laughs> War one. So, there you go. Um, so, starting out, who was talking? Um... I know the Dr. Mirage was talking. Mirage. Mirage was talking about, you know, how, you know, you know, she's an indigenous woman and you know, she's never thought to bring her religion, um her culture. You know, culture I'll say religion. Her culture into drag. She never thought they would intersect, but you know, she wanna start incorporating that because she did some event, you know, all the indigenous people. Yeah, where they're the sack and all the people came out. She's, you know, pussy and stuff, giving drinks. And she was hosting. It looked like she was hosting and little doing good. Did you see the fucking video? That bitch was on the street hosting, yeah. Like, yeah. Carlos was on the fucking, fucking stage. That was not those stage. That was the stage. street. Okay. <laughs> it's like just one of them, you know how somebody playing and somebody just speaking, trying to get the crowd yeah. through the stage. She was but, hosting. It was nice. Okay, she was hosting, y'all. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, she was just talking about that and how drag races, you know, really, um, you know, drag is everything, her. Yeah, it's how it inspired her and it's part of her life and all of that. And when she put that mug together, baby, it's a transformation. The it kids is. just get their life. Yeah, so then after that, um, you know, you got Tsunami and Geneva. They were discussing how, you know, they're they dreamers. Kids, they dream us, <laughs> they dream us, they to Obama. They're dreamers, they're... they dream a lot in their sleep, you know. Um, but at the same yeah. time, you know, they are, you know, they feel that sometimes at un uneasy because you never know what's going to happen. And DACA is, for those of you that don't know, it's 
defer action for childhood arrivals yes. okay so you know i guess you know obama during the obama administration he you know made this act come alive for whatever for the girls you know for like the girls that's you know like overseas and you know across the pond and you know they want to come over here and make a living and shit you know live the american dream he made that you know, right for them so they can come and do that. So, you know, shout out to Obama, OBZ for doing that shit for them. But um, yeah, so they was just discussing how like, you know, at any moment they feel like they can be taken away from this country. So being on Drag Race, you know, kind of solidifies them, you know, being like, I guess, citizens and stuff. And so they was just relating to that and kind of, you know. Teary eyed moment. Yeah, you know? yeah. Had they they got that in common, they didn't know that, but until they got there. And they said they may be the first queens, the yeah. DACA queens. Yeah. They may be the first yeah. that they know of anyway. And then after that, then, um, I don't know who brought it up, but one of the girls in the workroom were like, does anyone have an OnlyFans? Anyone have an OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> the producer. Boy. And then, a man, right, and then a mandatory media's like, no. Well, <laughs> kind of, sort of. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> but, you know, she was just like, I kind of do... Um, correspondence. Correspondence. So, when I guess the girls are out of town or on vacation spending oh, they all the fans' money, <laughs> she responds to the messages, you know, giving her fish voice or whatever, and, you know, talk to these men for the girls, you know, while they out. She answered a fan mail. Yeah, she answers the mail. Pretty much. That sounds like a good job. I'll do that. <laughs> That'll get tiring after a while, but you know, I'm sure it's good money, especially them OnlyFans um, bags, okay? But um, yeah, so you know, they definitely had a good carrying session during this makeup. They carry. Um, you know, session or whatnot. But you already know what time it is, right? It's time to run away, run away, run away. It's time for the runway, y'all. RuPaul is coming out. So RuPaul is walking out in the old oh, no. nice pink. <laughs> See? <laughs> Nasty the bill. It's like a nice pink number. Uh -huh. Like, you know, cotton candy. Sweet and gold, let me see that tissy roll. Ow, on, yes, a nice pink cotton candy. You know, I don't know what the material is on this dress, but it's giving. She got nice, like, nice hair. It ain't a dress. It's, like it's a giving pink. like a disco, like a. You can get, yeah, like a disco. Put you in mind of a, a pink disco dress. It just look nice. Poofy hair. Everything looks good. I like this hair. Now, the this makeup, hair is cute. The hair, the outfit, yes. everything. Top RuPaul. Great. RuPaul look amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, before we get off into the runway, y'all know RDR Live is first. So, let's get off into RDR Live. So, to start off, RDR is going to be uh, Tsunami. Tsunami Muse and Morphin. Who? Morphine Dion Love. And they're doing a play on like Anderson Cooper. And, um, and um, what's that boy's name? Andy Cohen. And Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen, you know, drunk summer, um, New, uh, summer, <laughs> New Year's Eve, you know, drunk session or whatever. And they started, they started it off okay. I think the whole segment kind of went like this. It never went up. It never went down for me. It just stayed like this. I say they knew they lines. They knew they lines. I think they they did pretty well. So then um, they delivered. Uh, Maya, she came out. So Maya came in, baby. Maya was here, and it it, she, it was funny. <laughs> it was. It was funny, but it wasn't like you know playing funny. It wasn't. It was no highs to the shit, but she came out funny because like her wig and shit was falling off. It was just like goofy. Yeah, and I think that was good for Maya because Maya, and that's because <laughs> Maya isn't normally you know a. You know, from what she says, she has a big personality, but she isn't a she big on, it you know, on the show that. so far. So, and for her to do that, I appreciated that. I appreciate it as well. So, she was funny. It was, it was goofy, goofy funny, if you will. So then, after it went back, went back to you know Andy calling and them, and then they sent it back off. I'm not Andy calling. <laughs> Tsunami and Murphy, and they sent out you know. So Geneva, I mean not Geneva, Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham, what's but, going on over there? So Geneva was doing the Lindsey Graham impersonation, but it was baby, it was bad. Was it? And it's not even hard to do. All you gotta do is be some southern closeted queen, 
and bam, you nailed it. See, I don't know, um, I don't know Lindsay like that, so I wasn't able to, um, this is a horrible man. really get into what Geneva did. But I thought it was see. funny to me, but it's not Lindsay Graham, okay. he's a senator. Okay, yeah. oh, that's a man, yeah, okay, <laughs> sorry. So, shout out to Lindsey Graham. And he had no, shout her out. Right. Okay. <laughs> Fuck Lindsey Graham. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so, then after that, you know, they did that little segment and shit. And um, the Grim Reaper walks out and they just go, live from RDR Live. Or some shit they said. <laughs> Studio <laughs> audience, whatever. And so, the little intro comes in. They give them their little intro. Cute and intro, stuff. you know, intro poses. Reminiscent Saturday Night Live or whatever. Yeah, cute. It was real cute. Now, why they ain't show us show them doing that, working on that? I wanted to see that. Well, so I'm only so much episode we get now. <laughs> but um, yeah. So then after that, you know what I'm saying? Mirage comes out as the host of Saturday Night Live. And baby, when I tell you this monologue was clunky. Mm -mm -mm. Is this a monologue? You said it was cunty? Clunky. Oh, uh, I thought you said it was cunty. I wish it was cunty. Cunty. She wish she, it was cunty. She looked cunty, yeah. She looked amazing, but it was just a clunky monologue. It didn't give nothing. It, she wasn't confident. I don't think that she then, felt... Is this a monologue or is this a motherfucking roast? It's like she's she just started, not a funny girl. Like, trying That's to roast it. the girls. That's why your ass shouldn't have jumped to be there. You should have been on the sideline doing some goofy shit. You should have been really had a lot of work work ideas with the girls. Yeah, instead of trying to do some. Should have been in a group. Okay, Mirage, no ma'am. Okay, you so, made your bed. So, <laughs> so after that, Mirage just introduces you know the next segment, which is Megami and Plain Jane. And the girls ate. They did. I think they was a play on, what's those sister frock sisters? What's that what it supposed to be? I can see that. Didn't one of them pass? Did they? Shout out to the frock sisters. I hope not. They probably had too much jizz in their stomach. Somebody passed. But yeah, but they were like bimbos. Um, Plain Jane to me, she played it similar to how Jimbo played it on his RDR Live. Um, big titties. Bimbo, dial back. I don't remember. I remember. It must not have been. But bad. Jimbo was amazing. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, shout out to Jimbo. Okay. Jimbo. Uh, very nice person. If you ever meet him in real life. <laughs> um. Yeah, but they did. They both ate. They both did great. It was this finally RDR Live was getting funny because the first three segments for me was not. Yeah. Yeah. So then after Megami and Plain Jane, um, my, um, what's her name? We, we, the, weekend Mirage. Up we do the Weekend Up Uh-uh, Mirage introduces oh, RuPaul. RuPaul. Oh, RuPaul come out. Yeah, with her nice do, little... She do the cowboy, cowgirl, cowgirl, giddy up, the remix. Lady boy, cowgirl. Cow, wait, what's Lady Cowboy? That's what it's called, right? Cowgirl. Lady Cowboy. This cowgirl, oh, giddy cowgirl. up, the remix. Okay. Wait, what was the original called? Cowgirl. Okay. <laughs> I could have sworn somebody said cow, lady cowboy. If that's what you wanted to be called, it's not. There's a few lady cowboys out there. I know them too. But um, yeah. So you know, RuPaul performed this nice little. I actually love this performance. This Part performance, great. RuPaul gave you outfits. The boys look nice. Choreography. This bitch gave you choreography. Okay. This bitch had her coffee enema. Okay, because she was moving. She was t stepping and twisting. I'm like, okay, bitch. Choreo, <laughs> cakes, whatever you need. Yeah. RuPaul gave it to you. I appreciate it. Whatever that. you need. She ate that shit. Yes. So then after that, then we get. The weekend update with a mandatory meeting and dawn. So Amanda, she motherfucking ate. I think she really did. She has the chops for that. You know, she has the facial expressions. She, she was just, knows how to talk. She knows how to deliver it. She just has it, you know, as far as being an actor. She was pretty actor. pointy. She was just right to Yeah, me. I think she did really good. You know, her jokes were, you know, landing and she did great. Dawn, dawn was overshadowed. I think she was by Amanda. I don't think she was as lively as Amanda. She wasn't as lively. She wasn't as funny. Yeah, and the jokes, her jokes weren't like... She had jokes. She did. Oh. But, <laughs> you know, they weren't landing. Then Q came in. She was the brick from Stonewall. She came in. She was funny. 
Q was funny. You know, I want to know why they did not say uh, Marsha P. Johnson's name. That's how Q talk, y'all. She be like, Yeah, RuPaul. <laughs> yeah, RuPaul. <laughs> they do that lip be like that, and the little, the little cheeks get to going up. But yeah, why they ain't talk why about they ain't say Marsha P. Johnson's name? What's going on over there? Because according to the brick, Marsha P. Johnson always get the shine, and the brick don't get the shine. That's what she said. Okay, that's fine. They trying to erase her story, huh? That's fine. <laughs> what the brick got to do with it? It's Marsha that threw the brick, okay? Even if Marsha did not throw the brick. So who she throw the brick at? The window. Okay, well give us a little history real quick. They know this. I don't, so tell me. They say she started stone, the stone wall right. Okay, she started throwing, she threw the brick. So she started the right. Way. Okay. Listen, the Queens is always However, the first bitch on the front line. Even if she really didn't throw the brick, that's the history that we go with, and that's the legend that has been created. So she we go started. With it the the Queens track. always on the front lines, bitch. Look at Rustin, okay? He was on the front motherfucking line. You watch Rustin? Me? Yeah, Mark, side by side, okay. <laughs> we good. shall overcome. Okay, they're trying to play my bitch Rustin. It was good. It's was always good. the kid. It's on the front lines, but they don't want to put us in the forefront. But we the bitch. They tried to erase wrestling they, history. They always trying to erase the gays, but we the ones because we understand what it's he like. Lost that teeth for y'all. We understand what it's like to be, you know, ostracized and you know, divided. But I feel like black people should understand that too. So it's like, why they hate y'all? So yeah, much? like what? What is like what? <laughs> Black people resting sacrifices. But then, you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go into that. <laughs> Make sure y'all watch wrestling on Netflix. Go into it, cause that'll be a whole spill, y'all. Shout out to Coleman. Black Dango. History Month coming up, so I'ma keep it cute. Cute. I'ma just keep it cute, okay? And I'ma just leave it at that. At that. Period. <laughs> so then, after that, next up we got Plasma, Sephira, and Nymphia Wynn as the, the Barbers. The Barberettes. The Barbers. Uh, the Barberettes. Is that like the, your New York accent? Barbers. The Barbers. Barber. Barber. I think it's more of a Jersey. Wawa? Wow, wow. I don't know how to do a Jersey accent. I can't do none of that shit. Me either. I could do a black scent. What's that? What I'm saying now? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then they come out, you know, giving quartet tees, um, you know what I'm saying? So, and um, so they did pretty they, good. They um, did re really well. They, I think so. They did. They did great. They was, sun their asses off. I'm surprised. I'm they quite was shocked. Nymphia kept up with them. Nymphia kept up with them. Because you know them both with plasma and Sapphire, they some vocals. You know, they some vocal. Nymphia kept up with them, but she was the weakest out of them. She was, but when that she harmony that came clear. in, she had that fucking harmony though. I'm like, okay, bitch, I, I, I hear the harmony going on, okay. She's a performer. Yeah, so shout out to them, you know, the last group. I think they did the best of all of them. Yeah. Yeah, because everything was perfect, you know, the jokes were funny and, you know. It was um, professional. Plasma did her thing. Yeah, so shout yeah. out to Plasma for doing her barber justice. So then, after that, let's get off into this runway, y'all. So, the category is... Everything, every... Everything but love. Everything is love. Shout out to Beyonce and Jay-Z. Everything, every share, all at once. There you go. <laughs> First up, coming out is... Share. Tsunami News. Oh. Uh, Muse. So it's not even new. I like it. Okay, she give you share tees down. I can't remember what look this is, but yes, bitch, they with the wig. It. They did, but I'm trying to figure out which one. I know it, but where is it from? The album cover. Okay, she's serving you um, wig going down, you know, um, silver wig, you know, wings and shit with the body suit. It was spot on share top. Top. Next up, we have Morphine Dion Love giving you uh, her at the Oscars. It's spot on. The body is sickening. The hair is sickening. The makeup is sickening. Bitch, you ate it. Top Morphine. And she did the lip thing. <laughs> the share lip thing. Oh, ho. Oh. Share said she don't do that. She do do it. I seen her do she it. She said she do not do that shit. <laughs> Next up, we have coming out. Ho. Oh. <laughs> Maya Iman Page looking like goddamn um this ain't um so what's the girl from Glee? <laughs> Amber Riley. Amber Riley, bitch. This is Amber <laughs> Riley, bitch. Down. This ain't Amber Riley. I can I see I can't. Okay, because this now. definitely ain't share. So most definitely not share. I mean, it puts you in the mind of turn back time share, and that's not the outfit she was like going for. 
That's what it like reminds me of. Chop. Chop. Next up we have Geneva Carr. Okay, she giving us um share at a circus. So <laughs> it's cute. I mean, you know, it ain't nothing, it ain't bad. What you think about it? You think it's you don't like it? I mean, it's just a basic soft top. Yeah, it's just a basic look. I mean, I wish he would have snatched it in a little bit more exactly. here, but soft top. yeah, I'm a soft top it too. Next up, Mirage. Okay, baby, she came around that corner ready. Yeah, she looks sickening. I think this outfit is sickening. Um, you know, she loves her good ponytail with a damn headband, okay? That's her real hair? Nah, top. <laughs> Um, the walk, I mean, she's selling it for me. I'm gonna top this look. She's selling it, she's walking, the look is spot on the chair. It's a top. Next up, we got Megami, turn back time. Okay, shit. come on, Megami. I like this outfit. I love yes. it. It's spot on. Top. Yes, come on, Megami. Top, top, top. She giving you body. I love it. Giving mm. you hair, giving you wig, big wig hair. Yes, good makeup, top. Yeah, okay. It's real nice. Next up, we have coming out is. Uh, Ooh, Jesus. Plain Jane. Okay, this bitch is nasty walking out like this. Okay, yeah, giving you share at the yeah, Met Gala. This bitch know it's nasty. Like, like get walking. into it. She walking so slow. She letting you feel the fantasy. Get up into it. Soak it in. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Know it. And I love it. I mean, I normally don't like a flat hair like that, but she is eating it with this flat hair. Like, bitch, give me share mixed with um, um, um. Mm. That's so nasty. Ooh, um, oh my Morticia, God. okay? That's what it's giving, bitch, down. Mm -hmm. Like, share mix with Morticia. Ooh, it's, yes, come on. Cause you know how like, um, my Alex family, how they used to highlight the eyes. Y'all you know? was blowing. Yeah, you know how those scenes back in the day where they highlight the, like, the eyes of the women? Mm -hmm. That's what it's giving right there. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what that's called. Somebody can tell me, but she ate that top. Next up, a mandatory meeting give you the shared doll. She ate this, okay? She looking like a Latina, huh? That it, face so strong. It's so strong, the arm strong. She's a strong bitch, that but is, that's what got she me. looks like the doll, right? She, she giving me Iggy Pop's torso. You hear me? Who's that? <laughs> the audience will know Iggy Pop's torso. You all talking about what they know. <laughs> they will know. Iggy, hold on, y'all know who it is? They Iggy. do know Iggy Pop's torso. Pop, come on. Torso. Is you topping or chopping? I'm gonna top that look. I'm definitely topping it. That don't pop. What is that? Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, this motherfucker be right on his own. <laughs> he be spot the fuck on, y'all. Look at that shit. He pops towards us. Look at I'm fucking screaming. This is a mandatory meeting. Hold up, bitch. Yeah, he pops towards us. He is shady, y'all. You is shady. That is shady. Iggy pops towards us. Oh my god, that is so shady. <laughs> I mean, you gotta do young Iggy pop towards us. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. I can see what you're talking about, but. Mm -hmm. Come on, Iggy Pop. Yeah. His name Iggy Pop, but you was talking about his torso. Yeah. Or his name is Torso as well. No, the name is Iggy Pop. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Now I get it. Iggy, come on, Iggy Pop. <laughs> now y'all learned something today, okay? They knew already. They did not know. Let you teach them something. Let you, you know. They already know. Let you. <laughs> Get, listen here, y'all. DeVille is very smart. He be being modest about it. He be schooling y'all bitches. So, you know, it's okay to do schooling these bitches. It's okay. I'm, not, I'm sure y'all already know. Yeah. Let's go. Next up, we got Don. Okay, giving you share. Um, it's like an old share clown mod. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he talking about the makeup. I bet you if Trixie ass walked out here, you'll top that shit, okay? Because the makeup be the same fucking way. Anyway, so don't do it. Yeah. Don't do Don. Because if this was Trixie motherfucking ass, yeah. same makeup and y'all, y'all bitches the top. So now one of y'all on, on here may not be talking about Don's makeup. Y'all tired of it because y'all watch this bitch Trixie 24 7. It's she got different. a million shows. How? It's different. How? It's just different. Uh uh. They just the same. It's but not. this look is sickening. Top Don. And then she took the jacket off. Okay, giving you body. Get into the shape. Get into this body. You see this body? 
I see a little something. Okay, it's nasty. Come on. She's a fucking bully, this bitch, Dawn. She is, but that's, you know, we'll take it for the, another, the next is show. Is you topping or chopping? I'm topping it. Next up, we have Q. Yes, bitch, we get Bob Mackie Realness, okay? It's the headpiece and the gown and the makeup for me. Yes, come and on. And the nails. And come the on, Q. And the fantasy. Q look at least 60 years old. And she redid her lips. Come on, bitch. She looks sickening right here, okay? She this look is everything. Amazing. It's hot. Oh my god. It's over. Next up, we oh. have Plasma giving you shares somewhere. I think it's the Grammys or something. I don't Oscars. know. Oscars, it's somewhere, but she looks sickening. I'm gonna need for Plasma to stop doing these sharp ass, pointy ass. I um that's the her, eyeshadow like that. I don't signature. like that. That's her signature. Bitch, you look like the evil swan right here. She like, is the evil swan. You giving evil she's like bitch, you look swan. evil on everyone you do because you're giving these points in your eyeshadow right there. She's serving. And then it's this bitch drama. is then this bitch is white as this paper, but your makeup be dark as my hand. Like which one is it, Plasma? Like I be trying to figure out her her makeup be a little dark. It do. Just get into the fantasy. It, I mean, I mean, I am. She looks sickening, but you know, it's a big question. But with this makeup, okay, it's fine. Top plasma. Top. I still gotta talk. Pop my shit, bitch. I gotta pop my shit. Okay. Get, look at that nose. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like a dolphin. Next. <laughs> Next up, we got. <laughs> Who is this? Nephew Win. Is that nephew? That's nephew Win. I thought this was a black woman walking out. That's Neff. Okay, she like she giving blazing. I'll say she giving blazing. <laughs> she is, but she looks sickening. Okay, she giving you body. She giving you Cleopatra share. Yes, Neffy, top, top. Next up, we have. Safira Crystal. What a strong ass look. Show yes. her ass. Big ass hair. I don't know what she body, yaddy, yaddy. Yaddy. but it's serving. Come on, bitch. And she took it off for the kids. I love the fro with it. I love how the big feathers are just so dramatic and then they come right off. Long sleeve, thigh eye over here. You know what I'm saying? Long cape, top, bitch. The fashion killer's baby is back, okay? Top, Safira. Yes, got Who it. Who was your favorite look tonight? Oh, Those are all the looks, by the way. I enjoyed a lot of the looks. Wow, Safira had a strong ass fucking look. Um, she did. The same bitches, Q. Q. <laughs> okay, <laughs> shit. Plain Jane. <laughs> the same bitches, like. <laughs> Q, Plain Jane. What about um, Nancy? Was hers up there with theirs? I enjoyed her look, but those was like my favorite. Yeah, those was. Like, Nifuels was okay. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah, shout out to them. So, the top qu uh, queens of this week are Plasma and Plasma. Come on, bitch. I mean, it was out of like Plasma, Q, and um, um, what's the little bitch name? Plasma, Q, and um, what's the other Bob Mackie girl? Plain Jane. In between yeah. Q. Q and Plain Jane. Yeah. Plasma, yeah. But those were the top, but Plasma is the winner. I don't know why Plasma got it. Um, don't get me wrong, she did sickening. My girl her be something becoming so fucking close. Like yes. she could just touch that win. And each time RuPaul be like, bitch, uh-uh. I think this was Plain Jane's night. That's uh -uh. my opinion. I thought Plain Jane should have taken it with I would, runway I would have gave, gave it the Q. Uh, he would have gave the Q. He definitely well, wouldn't have been Plasma. Uh, once again, I would have gave it the Q. I see why Production gave it to Plasma. Plasma did great and she ate. But outfit-wise and challenge-wise, if I'm combining them both, I'm giving that shit to Q. Her outfit ate. It was everything. Like it was. I so, got you plain, bitch. It was so fucking good. Plain. It, it, it really was. Come on, Q, bitch. You did that. Shout out to them. But the girls did great and I ain't mad at it. I'm, Congratulations, Plasma. <laughs> shit, bro. Congratulations. And the bottom two queens are <laughs> Mirage and Geneva. Okay, let's talk about this. Do you agree? Let's talk about it real um, quick. Um, do I agree? I okay. agree with Mirage being in the bottom for sure. Yes. Do I agree with Mirage being in the bottom? And yes. Plain Jane. Yeah. Mirage most definitely. I mean, not Plain Jane. Geneva. Mirage most definitely should be in the bottom. 
Let's talk about after the lip sync. That's what you want to talk about. And I guess Geneva, <laughs> Geneva did better than Lindsey Graham. So I guess she deserved to be in the bottom two. Yeah. And I guess Maya, she did make them laugh with her horrible share impression. She made them laugh. Oh, that's that. how she came back. I believe that's what saved her. I believe. What the fuck did she do? Hey, girl. <laughs> Something like that. What did she say? Something she don't even be saying. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, or something. Oh, something. <laughs> what did she say? Girl. Oh, something. It's like flippy hair. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Joke, you remember what she said? So that's saying that whatever she did. What they tell her to say? Huh? What they tell um um old girl to say? Maya. To when the her share her share impression. I'm just saying, oh, something. Oh! Well, either yeah. way it go, well, yeah. that's what saved her. So, okay, that's what's I saved guess her. this is the bottom two we got. So, let's go yeah. with it. So, let's get up into this lip sync. They're going off of Cher, Dark Lady. Let's do Dark it. Dark Lady! Yes, Geneva, I mean, Geneva already spinning and giving you ringmaster tease. I mean, she is, though. She a ringmaster? But, <laughs> but, um... Mirage, okay, she's just sexy. Okay, she's sexy. just giving you she is sexy. This is a woman. This is a woman. Like, she's just definitely embodied. Like, like, ow, get into that spin. That spin is everything. It was, like, boom. Rewind that spin for me. It would have been sickening if she went into a nasty Ooh, dip. Rewind that spin for when me. When it would have been Ooh. nasty if we would have had a dip. Hold on, Bob. Ooh. It would have been sickening if she went into a, ooh, ah. Look at okay. that. She's just. Look at it. You ain't okay. like her spin? Her spin was cute, but it was one of them safe spins. She used both feet with that spin. Mirage only used one foot to spin around. Why she just used one? Come on, Moon. Come on. One. Ooh, one. Okay, yeah, okay, you saw yeah. she did two, okay? <laughs> yes, Mirage. And, and she like, it's like she a hip dancer, like like a fucking, like a Shakira. Like a gypsy. They talk about a gypsy. Up yeah, in this okay, song. yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why she looks good for this song, because they talking about a gypsy. But Geneva ain't no hoe. She ain't, but she hold her own. There she go. But that bitch winding up. Like, I mean, she threw it up all the way home. <laughs> like, um, like, like, like a yoga pose, damn it. What's her name? Janelle like Grace, Monet? Grace Jones. Oh. <laughs> her too. Her first. <laughs> Grace Jones. Hey. Jokey, what you posting? If only baby knew the motherfucking words. God damn. You two in block song. Damn, Mariah's girl. Why can't you line this motherfucking song? So in uncut, Mariah said, well, I don't know the song. And Dawn gonna say, well, girls, just go out there anyway. Dawn, as, and as you can see, Dawn bullying like all the song. bitches to go out there and just do whatever. That's right, Dawn. Dawn bullying all like them bitches. <laughs> every last one of them. Dawn, girls, just go out there and just do what you can do. Uh oh, she getting stuck. Okay, her bees getting stuck in the wig. Once Mariah got stuck, RuPaul face confronted her. Yeah. And also, too, when she's not, not knowing the word, she said not one word. Meaning, like, she ain't know the word. She knew some words. She knew chorus. <laughs> Who said not one word? She knew some of it, but she she knew like chorus and stuff. But RuPaul didn't even think about it. She said, "Baby, Geneva's child. like she yeah." <laughs> and look, she should go home with these man hands right now. Like, why? Where is your nails at? Let her be. Uh uh. Where is your nails at, Mirage? Look at them hands. Oh my God, she's just taking away the fantasy from me. I can't even look. Ugh, ain't nothing wrong with her hands. Oh my God, I thought this was a lady. <laughs> All women don't this wear This is a hair. man. It's a woman. This is a whole man That's right a now. woman. <laughs> That's a man. That's a man. That's what T.S. Madison used to say. She was like, the niggas used to try to um, like hit her up. And then the homegirls would be like, That's a man. That's a man. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all ever watch old T.S. Madison videos, y'all would die. <laughs> uh, Shout out to Mirage. Mirage is having a breakdown. She though. is. I feel bad for she her. She's breaking on down, y'all. Like, yeah. Oh, bless her heart. When she's breaking down, y'all, I thought, like, one of the girls was gonna say, bitch, you can have my immunity, bitch. You can have it. Like, I thought that was about to happen, but... Lower expectations. But I thought, Ru I thought, but RuPaul already asked so, them about the immunity. So, Once she said, they said no, though. So, so you what? can't do So that. you don't know what you can do. Uh-uh. Anything is possible. So my thing is like, if they give it to a bottom, if they gave the immunity to a bottom queen, 
If they gave the immunity to a bottle queen because they asked them before they even picked the tops in the mm-hmm. bottom, mm-hmm. then they're going to have to switch on who they're going to put next in the bottom then. Okay. Yeah, like that wouldn't be fair so for a bitch that don't deserve <laughs> For a bitch that don't deserve to be in the bottom and somebody gets saved. Yeah. I, I want to know. I think I that's gonna know, be some mess. I want to know when the immunity, when the expiration date is for him. We'll probably have not. Oh yeah. Have information yet? She is holding this. My thing like, okay, if it's an expiration date, bitch. If I don't use it, like, can I just turn it to cash or some shit? <laughs> like, <laughs> make it ten thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> shit. But anyways, that was the episode, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you gagged with us, laughed with us, and you know what I'm saying. I hope you. You know, I enjoyed the episode. I had a good time. Cry with us, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this was a good episode. You know, it's always good when they do some type of live. I'm mad my girl gone, but shit happens. Yeah, Mirage gone. I mean, Mirage will be all right. So shout out to Mirage. You know, you one of the rude girls now. You, I'm sure we'll see you at DragCon this year. And um, yeah, good luck to you, Mirage. That's God. Yeah, but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And um, y'all know what to do. Share this video with your mama, your daddy, and your bald-headed granny. And always remember to do what? Like, comment, and subscribe. See ya. Thank y'all.